Okay, so this is the project car I've been talking about for a while now. I was looking for the probably the best part of a year, looking at rolling shells, that kind of thing, um, within budget from what I wanted to spend. Luckily this came up fairly local to where I live. I basically got two cars, this being the uh, uh, Competition Yellow RX-7 and I got another one also which is a silver one but that's really badly damaged, crashed so the engine in this one has completely blown and the plan is to put the engine from the silver one into this one which uh, I believe is running okay so I haven't got any pictures of that at the moment but in time we'll, get, we'll be getting the car moved to, to a unit probably to strip it down so um, we'll see the extent of the damage there but it's really bad so this car is a project car as you can probably tell the paint is quite tired anyway I'm going to keep it the same colour because it is one of my favourite colours for these cars they're quite hard to come by now as well um, I was looking for a long time as I mentioned and I couldn't really find any in this colour or to this day I can't find any in this colour so I'm happy about that because it was the one I wanted so yeah big plans for this car it's going to take a long time but um, you know I think it's going to be worth it in the end so so I got an absolute abundance of parts with this car um, I basically got two sets of coilovers one from this car one from the silver one some aftermarket parts like gauges I've got an ECU for it um, all polybush subframes there's probably too much to even go through how much stuff I got but basically got two cars so the plan is to put everything that's good from the other car into this car and just make one good car, basically. So the wheels that are currently on, they're just basically here for me to move the car back and forward. Um, they're going back to the previous owner. He was nice enough to keep, uh, give me these wheels just as a temporary solution to move the car. So obviously these will be coming off at some point when I decide what wheels I want, which I think I maybe do, but like I say, it's going to take a long time to decide, so. So inside the car, completely stock interior. It's actually in pretty good condition, to be honest. Although it might not look it, it just needs a good clean up probably because there's a lot of parts in here still. The plan for this is to just basically have a really clean stripped interior. Uh, it's got back seats at the moment but <laughs> I don't think anyone can fit in those. We should try to get you in Adam. Actually let's do the Adam test. <laughs> this is why I don't buy Japanese cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually worse than I thought. And I thought I was tight in there. And this is like... Seat all the way back. <laughs> That's as far back as the seat goes. My head's touching the roof, my neck's twisted. My knees are touching the steering wheel, which is smaller than stock anyway. I physically couldn't drive the car. That's good. <laughs> so, I'm going to do a little plan, just a quick overview. I just thought I'd say as well, I've never undertaken anything like this before, so it's going to be a massive learning curve, probably going to fuck up along the way, but... So let's get one thing out of the way. Engine. We're going to go with an LS swap. Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ. We don't do LS swaps around here. <laughs> so sorry about that. We don't do that sort of thing here. It's going to be a 13V. Oh God, it's... So the car, which is damaged badly, that has a 13B street port in it. I've been told it runs okay, so the plan is to put that one in the yellow one. And I think we're gonna mess around with the engine out of the yellow one, which is damaged. Maybe use it, obviously use it as a spare. Maybe try and bridge port it, but keep that as a spare anyway. So we'll get the most important things out of the way first. Um, structural, we're gonna make sure the car's solid. From what I've seen, looking at it, uh, it looks absolutely rust free. But we'll double check that when we strip the car down, make sure it's okay. Gonna go for a full cage. All the subframes uh, are polybushed at the moment. Again, might do some more work on those, get them powder coated, that type of thing. But gonna try and get as much sort of rigidity as possible. Maybe some more strut brace underneath. Uh, okay, so suspension. The car currently has some coilovers on it. I'm not really sure which brand they are. But the silver one does have some teen coilovers with it. Now, one of the actual coilovers itself is really badly damaged from the crash, so I might look to replace one of those. I'll go with something like DC maybe, but the plan is to get some good coilovers on it. So on the brakes, I mean, I haven't really decided as of yet. Just really gonna go with something maybe like Adam used on his M3, that type of thing, just something, and a good aftermarket brand probably, but they're gonna all get changed anyway. So the ones on the car obviously aren't fit for use anyway, so. 
The silver one, which is crushed, did actually come with a full brake setup, so we might look into that. We're going to check them out. If they're any good, we'll use them. So, so the body, it's either going to be kept standard, or I'm going to go with an aftermarket body kit. Now, I was looking at Rocket Bunny kits for a while, and I did like them for a long time, but I just think they're a bit generic now. I think it's been done a lot. Uh, I have been following a company called TCP Magic, and I've seen their kits, and basically a time attack kit. I really like the look of those, so that could be a possibility. It's just sort of budget dependent at the minute. So it's either between keeping it standard or going with maybe one of those, but again, we'll see what happens. So wheels, um, again, not fully decided, but I've always liked the Workmeister wheels. I mentioned probably a long time ago that I wanted some for the GER, but kind of went off that a little bit. So it does make sense maybe to get those for the RX-7. I know people usually go with the rotors and I do like them, but I'm looking for maybe a three-piece split wheel. I just like the look of them. So I'll maybe go with the Workmeister S2s with uh, black barrels and uh, anthracite centers maybe. I've always liked those, so again, not fully decided, just uh, throwing up ideas. So with the turbo, I haven't fully decided right now, but the engine of the silver car does have one on it, which is a single, and the ECU, what I've got, uh, has been mapped to that, so I'm probably gonna keep it until maybe something goes wrong with it, but I think once we get the car to a place where we can work on it and have a good look at it, then maybe we can decide or decide to keep it or change it, so. So ECU, as I just mentioned, I have an Apexi ECU for it. I'm going to have to do a bit more research into it probably, but I believe that's what most people use, so I'm probably just going to keep that, get it uh, running and then see what happens. So that's really, really vague. As I mentioned, I'm, I'm just kind of jumping into this. It's going to take a long time to probably complete this car. Uh, budget, time, that kind of thing. So it's going to be a definitely a different experience for me. I'm probably going to require help along the way. but. Hopefully we'll make a good car out of it, so. So as always, we'd like to say thanks for watching. This was really vague, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna, I've just jumped into this, basically. I've always wanted one. It's gonna take a while to do, as I mentioned. The plans will probably change. So, I'm just looking forward to working on the car and actually learning about the car, so. Stay with us for that. Engine, we're gonna go with an LS swap. No! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 